Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and we're here at the Waldorf Astoria, where the 2014 National Football Foundation College Football Hall of Fame press conferences will take place, and we're going to take a look at some of the sights and some of the sounds from today's press conferences. The greatest receiver in South Carolina history would be number two, Sterling Sharp, who actually started his career at South Carolina as a running back before making the switch to wide receiver, and he left with virtually every receiving record known to man for the Gamecocks, the single season receptions record with 74, career receptions with 169, the single season receiving yards record with 1,106, and career receiving yards with 2,497. Sharp was a team captain as a senior and also played in the East-West Shrine game and the Senior Bowl en route to earning first team All-American honors in 1987. Sharp goes on to explain who inspired him at South Carolina, who he tried to emulate his game after, and what it was like to play football as an independent now that the Gamecocks are currently playing in the SEC. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I, I'm, like everyone else, humbled and, and very thankful to be sitting up here with this group of guys that uh, some I know very well and some I can't wait to, to get to know. But my daughter, who is here to, will be here tonight, as a broadcast journalism major, and she says, Dad, what does this mean to you? And I said, honey, I really don't know. I said, because I haven't had it happen yet, and I haven't had a chance to go back and think about what this really means. But I will say this, going to the University of South Carolina was the first decision I made as an adult. And this tonight, or being here today with this group of wonderful men, uh, let me, lets me know that I made the right decision. Uh, my idol is at the University of South Carolina and George Rogers. He is in the College Football Hall of Fame. Uh, when I moved to receiver, the guy I tried to emulate at the University of Michigan, Anthony Carter, is in the College Football Hall of Fame. And last but certainly not least, my football coach, Steve Spurrier, is in the College Football Hall of Fame. So making that decision as an 18-year-old, as, as I like to say, an 18-year-old adult, being here right now lets me know that going to the University of South Carolina, I made the right decision. South Carolina's been in the SEC since 1991, but it was an independent school when you were playing. How different was the experience? For us, you know, for, for me specifically, it was very interesting because we weren't held hostage by having to play the Georgias, the Floridas, the Tennessees, the Alabamas, the Auburns every single year. We got the Miamis and the Notre Dames and the, uh, the NC States, and you know, we got a chance to play a little bit of everyone. So for me, it was an opportunity to, to showcase the talents that we had, the athletes that we had, the students that we had uh, across the country. So for, for me at the time, I, I like being in the SEC right now, but I love the opportunity to share our talents with the rest of the country. Sterling, congrats.